Hi, welcome in part four of the multi-part video series creating a crazy four-player monster pedestal arcade. And in this video, we are going to work on the artwork. We are uh, unboxing it, try to make it fit. I will give you some tips and you will see the pedestal come to life. So without further ado, let's apply some artwork. So the artwork came in by mail today. Uh, it is printed on high quality vinyl with a UV satin finish. Let's open it up. And the colors really pop. It looks beautiful. And I printed it on one big sheet. So let's cut it to smaller pieces first. And I already mentioned this tip in one of my YouTube shorts, but go get yourself some surgical blades. And these are really cheap, uh, about 10 euro for a set of 100 pieces, and they are much sharper than regular blades you buy at the hardware store. So let's start repairing the control panel. Before you can stick any vinyl on it, you need to sand it and clean it with a bit of cleaner. Now here I found out that I made a mistake with the design. The panel art is just one centimeter short. And of course uh, you maybe wouldn't notice that and pretend that it's all part of your design. But for me, this means ordering another print. So here's the new artwork. And this time it's perfect. And by the way, I applied the tank stick artwork in the meantime already. So now I will start by lining it up, by feeling the cutouts through the artwork and take your time doing this. When uh, applied you cannot remove it anymore. To fix the sheet in place I use some clamps in the middle and this works far better than the tape I used to use. Now the trick is to peel off about half of the protective uh, sheet. Just like this. And then remove the protective foil. And slowly roll the artwork onto the surface, avoiding air holes or wrinkles. And this is not difficult at all, just guide it with your hand, removing the air. Double check that it's in place. Remove the clamps and do the other side. You can see that you can just remove wrinkles by just shaking the sheet a little bit. It's 
slowly roll it into position. And we're done. So now we can cut the outer line with our surgical blade. Let the panel uh, top guide you. And you will need a perfect cut panel for this, of course. Uh, any hooks or dents will pass onto your edge, of course. So take your time doing it. And now comes the fun part, cutting out all of the holes. This build I uh, will save the cutouts as I will use them for inserting them into the gold leaf buttons. So now let's do the side panel. You know the artwork is very erotic, uh, very sexy and I'm sorry if this is uh, offensive to anyone. Uh, it was my client's uh, request and quite frankly I myself are not at all bothered by it. Clamping it in place. Doing one side first, slowly roll it into place, cut the sides, and the 140 millimeter fan cut out. And now I'm busy anyway, I might as well apply the T-molding here. I use 19mm T-molding and I bought a nylon hammer because so many of you commented on my steel hammer approach. Uh, I don't like rubber hammers but this nylon version is absolutely great for applying T-molding. Let's do the small box strips. famous wallpaper technique and this means that you overlay two sheets on top of each other, cut through them both, remove the protective foil underneath and you will have a seamless line in between the separate pieces. It just makes it look like it's one long strip. Let's see how Lara Croft looks on the other side. This is a small 80 mm fan grill for the subwoofer cut out. Apply the bottom cover for the sub. So the back of the panel contains three parts and I'm working on the door panel now. Cutting out the window for the computer. The piano hinge was a bit stained due to the paint. It, it is really easy to fix with your Dremel multi-tool and a metal brush as you can see here. So you are basically just polishing the chrome. I'm installing this uh, fan as an intake uh, now, but later in the build I will change that into an outtake fan. So if you want to fix a glass panel, a screen or any other flat object into a frame, you will need to get yourself a Logan point driver. 
it isn't cheap at all, but it's so easy to use. And I wish I had this with the Tron build I did. Uh, gluing that window into place was a nightmare, I remember. These staples are very easy to bend and remove. And I just use two of them now for a temporary fix. So what do you think of this? Back panel is done. Control box is done. Now what is left is the front panel with the angled boards. And it was much easier than expected. And now all I need to do um, are the small marquee box panels and the fight stick panels. And we are done, well, with the artwork. Thanks for watching. And in the next part, we will be wiring up the complete unit, install the computer, the marquee screens, the audio, and much, much more. And that, that one will be a long video. I think it will pass the 30 minutes. So please like and subscribe. Also comment below. I always love to hear your feedback and will respond to every one of you. So see you in the next video. Bye.